Good afternoon, soul family. Wow, Mercury must be in retrograde. <laughs> Things churned up. Things are a pain in the ass. I've had like, I had to get up and, and start working with a client this morning and the phone kept calling. I could see, I could hear my, my alert coming. It was calling in, calling in on my computer, but my phone never rang. And five different times my company put me off the line and said, you know, you're not answering your calls and this person's trying to get through. And I'm like, okay. So you guys, right now with Mercury in retrograde, deal with challenges as kindly and understandingly as you can. It's going to be frustrating. I've already gotten it. It's already started. So this is about um, double checking, triple checking your facts. Don't jump to conclusions. Don't think people are not trying or are, are ignoring you. Um, I'm getting people are trying to get through, but they can't. Um, in, in more ways than one, whether that be they they can't figure out how to do it themselves or they're just not capable of doing it because uh, communication issues are down right now. Um, don't, so don't assume things. Don't jump to conclusions. Um, they're telling you have backup plans. You know, yesterday we were being shown to focus, get focused on each step in front of you one step at a time and be very thorough. So here is, and you know, we were talking yesterday, so four times that Osprey has come forward saying important information is pending, but it's pending. It's pending. It's not able to get through. Look at that. A door just slammed shut. Okay. A door just slammed shut. Why? Because the winds of change are happening because things are ruffled up right now. That's what it's, that's what's going on out there. You may be trying to get through the door and the door keeps getting slammed on you. We saw that with Freya and Ferdinand yesterday, the fish down there. He's trying to get through to her, and she's like, nope, and other people are interfering. It could be that. People are slamming doors on you, in, getting in the middle of things, interfering. So don't jump to conclusions. If you, if You're supposed to get clear. You're supposed to speak your truth. You're supposed to step forward, do your thing. If you're getting blocked, find out why you're getting blocked. Look into things. Why is this not going through? If you thought things were going, like maybe somebody was supposed to do something I got yesterday, you know, somebody's working for me and they were supposed to send these pictures and I found out they never, they didn't do it. And when I started looking into their work and I realized, wow, they hadn't been, they'd been cutting corners. They've been taking the easy way out. Remember, they're big dogs riding for free. They don't want to do the work. So check and make sure, follow through yourself on things. Don't leave it up to other people. If something's important to you, you follow through on it. If you've got, like say with me, I've got a, um, uh, a monthly payment for the IRS. It just was easier for me because I, I, you know, I want to, I didn't have the money to pay it all up front. So here's the deal. January this year, they, they had a mistake. They didn't, they weren't able to send out the, the, um, the payment pages, these, these, these payment pages, right? This is what comes out right from the IRS. I don't know if you can see it. So they're supposed to send them out and they, they had a glitch in their computer system so that none of them were sent out. Now this is just a courtesy. This doesn't have to be done. If it doesn't get paid, you default, right? So if it doesn't go through, just because somebody, you know, this was a courtesy they were sending out, if you're not on top of it, you're going to be in trouble. So it came out, so I found out, I paid um, on the 7th and I paid on the 20th. I called to say, I already paid. Why is this coming out again? And they said, well, because no payment went out on, on, January, on January for February. So if I hadn't have made my payment, I would have been late. Do you understand? So right now, it's happening again. Now, this month, I started thinking about it. Mm, when is my payment coming out? And fortunately, the payment came. Um, it, it came out on the 14th, and that's fine. But I, you have to keep a track of yourself. So especially right now, with, with Mercury being in retrograde, and I don't know if it is in Mercury, but it's got to be. Let me check and see. And if not, we're in the shadow. Mercury retrograde 2018. Okay. So, um, whatever it is, I, I mean, for this to happen, I've already, I've been shown this. Um, so March 22nd, it goes into retrograde. So we're in the shadow and it's already messing up. And I, and you know what? It's happening to me ahead of time because I always get things ahead of time as a psychic and as a channel. I don't know. It's just the way it is. I get things ahead of time to help you guys out, I guess. But, I mean, i got to tell you, five calls, and I've watched, and I had a call into the company. I'm saying, look, you know, I, you can hear the phone ringing right now on my computer, but my phone doesn't show up, and it doesn't mean that I'm not connected. You're something wrong with your computer system. There's a glitch. 
So follow up, follow through, be very, very thorough. Don't leave it up to other people to take care of something that you that's important to you. Because I'm being shown somebody's trying to reach somebody through someone else and they're not. Also, I'm getting there's interference because somebody is jealous and wants what somebody else has. So you may be thinking that somebody's sending information to someone else or sending a message and they're blocking it. So be aware. So today we're going to be working with, um, I got two decks. The Divine Circus, because that's what it feels like. Life is Circus right now. Um, and... This is by, who is this by? Alana Fairchild. This is a really, this is a really cool deck. I've been shuffling and going through to clear the energy from my cards because a lot of times, you know, it picks up the energy from the readings and it needs to be cleared out. So I've been sitting here for quite a while going through, shuffling through. Wow, there's something going on outside. Um, it looks like three ravens. Two went one way and, and the other took off the other direction. They were big and I don't see ravens around here. Magic and Miracles. It could be crows, too, but then they're big. So there were three, and two went off. They split. So a third-party situation ends, and two goes in one direction. And they're flying high, and they're moving quickly. So there's information. That comes up. That means anything to you. It doesn't have to be in love. It could be in work. But I feel that there is a relationship issue going on right now, absolutely because of what we saw yesterday with the with the one fish that had was hurt by the other and, and they were kind of standing guard over them or trying to get close and then the other one's coming in and the one that was trying to get close, you know, running them off. So there's somebody that's, that's, that's either running interference or causing interference. All right, so let's find out. Whoa, that was really clear. Joker wild. Well, that's kind of what's going on. <laughs> so when the Joker's wild, anything's up, right? If the Joker's Wild, if you've ever played the game Joker's Wild, I think there was a show called The Joker's Wild. I, I remember that from when I was a little kid. The Joker's Wild. So, this is, this is when things go sideways. This is like Mercury Retrograde. This is, it's kind of like, but Mercury Retrograde can also cause things to go what, good for you. Right? It doesn't mean it's always going to be a nightmare. It's, it's just telling you that you can't plan for this. You can't plan for what's going to happen during Mercury Retrograde. Jokers are wild. Anything can happen, basically, is what it is. Right? So, right now, you got to overcome the odds. Mercury Retrograde fighting you, the shadow, or things going on. You are being empowered to do this. You're going to win. Spirit says, remember we got victory. Was it imminent in our weekly reading? It is imminent, but you've got to go for it. You've got to be the one... To, to, to do the work, right? And it's and, and whatever's going on, you're going to win, but maybe not in the way that you expect you're going to win, which is really bizarre. So Spirit is saying that they, they're going to send you the best possible outcome. So that's why we don't want to put Spirit in a box. Oh, there we go. It was a little bit blurry. I don't like things when they're blurry. I want things cleared up. I said that to Spirit. I want things cleared up. I don't want any more confusion here. So let's get some clarity in this situation. Well, Spirit says, well... You know, the best possible situation is coming on you. It might startle you. It might come to you like a, like a, like a shot in the night, like a lightning, lightning bolt. That Oh, my God, there it is. But you're going to want it, whatever it is. This is the trump card. This is the one that beats all the others. So no matter what, what's so cool about this is, you know, there's been blocking, right? There's been something that things have not been able to work or, there, or something is not going through. But when this happens, when the Joker is wild... This trump card comes, no matter how it looks as though they're carrying... I, I watched this the other night. They were playing poker. And this guy was dirty. He was a dirty dealer. He was, he was cheating. He had people on the inside feeding him information, right? And um, you, you watched... I, I watched as they were playing, and he was winning hand after hand after hand. But he had somebody that was dirty on the inside feeding information to them. So it's like me. I know I'm being watched, and people are feeding information. But they're feeding the wrong information. Remember, there's somebody that's blocking... There's somebody that's on the inside that's close to you that's feeding you information. You're, they're telling you they're on your side, but they're not. Remember? You think somebody's helping you out, but they're not. You think somebody's sending a message, but they're blocking. They are doing something. So no matter how, no matter how these ones seem to have had the upper hand, or no matter how many of them seem to be against you at this time, this is about, this is about a pack of wolves coming at you. Right? You're the lone wolf, and there's a, there's a hung, bunch of hungry lions, and I keep getting the Leos. There's a Leo in your life, and they keep showing me this. The Leo in your life you think is a friend, and they're not. But there's going to be a brilliant solution, and this problem is going to end. 
and it's going to come through bright and brilliant and it's going to be BAM and you won't even see it coming because it's going to come in a way that this is how spirit does it. This is the falling tower, but this is divine intervention. This is going to come in a way that you once believed this way is the way things have to go. And all of a sudden you're going to realize, wow, anything can happen. It doesn't have to be that way. This is when spirit said to me, surrender. Just sit back and allow. Just watch. Because you know what? The more you try and put, push this wet spaghetti up a hill, the more it's going to just turn into a pile of mush. Right now, it's out of your hands. Remember the winds of change came and threw my cards all over the place? And everyone yesterday, when, when, I, when I did the live feed, the, the, the ducks were flying in circles. That The five ducks, big changes. The winds were all over the place. There were squabbles. There were people that were interfering and blocking. There was all kinds of chaos. And spirit said, just cut loose. I, I stopped working. I shut my phone off. I went and got a, check it out. I went and got a pet, um, pedicure and a manicure that I deserve. I, what's that right there? I've been working. Oh, this is, uh, this is, um, my, my incense. I lit, I haven't in for a while, but I went and I got a pedicure and a manicure and that's talking about self care. Also a pedicure and a manicure is how you touch things, how you feel things. And I put a protective coating on, on, on the way I was touching down because what was it yesterday that we were shown? Remember the, the female ducks had their feathers ruffled? And it could be that there's confusion going on. So put a t protective coating on your fingernails. The way Don't react. Don't assume. Just wait and see. Because spirit's just about to blow things wide open. Remember spirit said? We've not yet... Wait. Wait until you're announced. So wait before you react. Wait until you, you, you get your nose in a knot. I felt like that fish, that Freya, she was upset, she was hurt, but that one was trying to protect her, but there was somebody coming in, the interloper, the catfish, right? It's like a catfish. Think about what a game, what a catfish is. It's a fake. It's not real. Catfishing are people that want you to believe a certain thing to be a certain way when it's not. They do it for fun. They do it to fuck with you. It's really not cool. Also, a catfish could be a female. Now, right down there, the white heron has come into the backyard. It's walking. It just landed. Can you see it down there? Walking right by that pole? Okay, he's going slow. He's going really slow. Can you see him? Right down there. He came in for landing. That, thing, that guy was huge. But it's really windy right now. He's hiding right out in your backyard. Okay, that's a message to me. Even Lily won't come outside. My, my, my rose bushes are all blown to one side. I'm going to do it this way. Let the light come. But look how many there are. Three in full bloom. Ascended masters. I'm closing the door on the cold wind. So cold wind would be icy feelings, um, icy reaction. Remember, things aren't the way they appear. That The white crane coming in, the jack of all trades, the one who dances to his own beat, the lone wolf, the eclectic one, the eccentric one. He's all by himself. He's right in your backyard, and he's hiding behind those bushes. He came in for a landing. Pay attention to all of this. I'll, I'll get my messages later. So whatever this is, this is a trick by the universe. Remember we got the fox coming out in our weekly reading, and it said, be the observer. Just wait. Camouflage yourself. The fox is also the trickster. And remember the catfish? It's a catfish game. They want you to believe something, but it's not the truth. So this is the universe tricking you, but it's love. It's a loving trick you're gonna you're gonna like this one it's like it's uh it'll help you realize what's really important and know that the universe loves you and cares for you and not just cares for you but deeply cares for you so don't think that you can be in control of this because there's no way you can the joker is wild and it goes according to the way spirit wants it but it's going to bless you and it's going to work to your benefit so allow just allow that's what we were supposed to do that's why Freya, I, she got cut loose and she, she stayed in her little, by her little cinder box in her little nest and she's just like hunkering down and she's not trusting anyone right now. So remember, we wanted to see the universe pr prove itself, allow anyone to prove themselves. Whoever it is that was meant to come forward, you let them come because right now, I don't know what's going on. I'm not jumping to conclusions. I'm getting a covering over my, my fingernails, over my touch, over my feelings. I'm not going to get my feelings hurt, but I am protecting myself, right? And I'm taking care of myself. So, right now, look at this joker. She's in the light. Right? She's in the light. So look at her and say this three times. We saw the three roses coming full circle completion. Say this three times out loud. 
The Joker is wild. When she shows her face, she lights up the dark with a powerful grace. Let's do it again. The Joker is wild. When she shows her, when she shows her face, she lights up the dark with a powerful grace. Okay, when she shows, everything's going to be illuminated. You're going to see it. And it's going to be power. And you're going to be like, wow. So, Joker of love takes the reins. And the perfect punchline is all that remains. Someone's about to, remember? We've not yet used all our graces. The dogs, the big dogs that we're trying to ride for free. The dogs that we're chasing. The cat. They're going to stay in chains. Everyone's competing for a love they will not receive. All the cups got broke at their feet, at your feet, but it wasn't your fault. It was the machinations or the dealings of everybody else that was interfering or doing all these things or who knows what was happening. But you're going to start again. You're going to come through and you're going to be shown the truth of the situation. Dang. I saw, I saw this in my dreams last night. I watched. I saw my twin's best friend, ex-best friend, and I thought, why am I seeing you? It's really strange. I saw him a while ago up at the grocery store. I didn't speak to him, but it was really strange. I saw him so clearly in my dream. It's funny, they showed him as the Leo. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for, I saw him so clearly. And I'm like, why do I have to see all of these others? You know, I know it's showing me um, who somebody is, but you know, it doesn't have to necessarily be that person. But it's who that person represents to me. But dang, I see these other guys so crystal clear. And I really would love to just see the one in my life crystal clear. You know, well, I don't have one in my life right now, but that's what I'd like to see coming in. One more for this one. And then um, we're going to go to the saints and angels. <clears throat> Correct for neutrality on all levels. How funny is that? Love this tiger. The tiger and the angel. Four, the ascended mass. I mean, the angels are with you. They're all around you, completely guided, protected, and loved. So you see this tiger snuggling up to this, to this one, and the words that were coming from her mouth are pure truth and love. Look at that. She's blowing magic from her mouth. And the angel, look how that, that tiger is just loves. It's like my liger. It's my liger snuggling up to that angel. But they call it the tiger angel. So, this could be a halo over top of this tiger. This tiger is also in the light, right? So you think about the so you think about the strength and the power of a tiger. Right now, spirit says we need you. Spirit is saying we need you. Not that we you know we're always asking for angels' help, but spirit says we need your strength, your guiding hands, your your devotion, your goodness, your protection. There are people in your life, there are projects in your life that need your help, your encouragement, your protection. Remember yesterday, Freya was being protected by that one, keeping away everyone from them, from her. But you've got power within you. You've got healing. You've got healing. You can help others. So Spirit wants you to be competent, com confident in your abilities, that you can be gentle and yet powerful at the same time in helping, helping others keep safe, helping them inspire. You know, last night, I got to tell you, my Uncle Phil, he's been, he's been helping his Maggie, his cat, his 19-year-old cat, transition to the rain, across the Rainbow Bridge, and it's been really, really difficult, and I've been working with him. And um, she's been struggling these last few weeks, and especially the last few days. He said she's close, you know. She's, she's trying so hard to hold on. But see, he loves her so much. She was the little kitten that him and his late wife rescued 19 years ago, and his late wife died, and this was the last of... The connection to her and so it was especially hard for uncle phil he's been having he's such a gentle ben he's big bear so loving and gentle to these little ones and and she was she was worrying about him he said she's struggling and she she's struggling to hold on but she was she was she just didn't know if he was going to be okay so i was i woke up uh i've been sending her reiki i've been working with them and it's interesting he texts me in the middle of the night and he says she's she's struggling she's lying on the floor and i'm lying next to her and I could really use your help. So I, and it's interesting that I woke up in the middle of the night to get that message. And so I started, I called on the father and I asked to fill her with a sense of peace and calm in him, unconditional love. And I said, if it's at all possible, when he falls asleep, go to sleep then. It's very hard for him. 
He's having a hard time letting you go. And he doesn't want to suffer. He doesn't want you to suffer. And I don't want you to suffer. So I asked the father, please make her feel a sense of, of, of lighthearted energy moving through her body. And I started to feel it. I called the Reiki masters in. And it was, uh, the only way I can describe it was kind of like that. It was kind of like a swooshing energy. And I felt it moving through my body. It felt really good. It was very light. And it moved through me lightly. And I asked, let her feel this as she goes to sleep. And I said, Maggie, please, when you, when you leave him, let it be when he sleeps. And so at a certain time, Lily, in the middle of the night, a couple hours later, a few hours later, Lily came and stood on my chest. And I use Lily. When I did that, I was on my own. But often I use Lily. And when she came up, I said, help her. Help Maggie go through. Is this what's happening now? Right now, Lil. Help Maggie go through. And I worked with Lily. And I cleared the energy and I, from, from myself and, and also from Lily. And I, help, and I asked for the... Oh, I, I'm trying to explain this. And she stood on my chest for quite a while. And then she went away. And then a couple hours later, I got a text message from Uncle Phil. And he said, it's over. She's gone. And I said, did it happen when you went to sleep? Because that's when I felt this energy and I was working with you. And he said, yes. He fell asleep. At 4.20, he checked her and she was breathing very laboriously. And she put her little paw out. And that's when Lily came to me. So he fell asleep and that's when she left. So then of course I'm feeling it again right now because he's having a hard time. And Lily came back up on my chest right then and I said, can you clear us? Take away this pain. Help us let go. Help us release. So whoever is struggling right now with the releasing of one in their life who has passed on, please allow them to go in grace. We had that message before. Something was ending and you need to allow it to end gracefully. Allow them to move on because they will hold on for us. And even energetically, they hold on because they don't want to see us struggling. We have to allow ourselves to feel the energy and feel the pain and feel the loss. But then we have to allow it to go. And so I asked for Lily to help me and Father to help me to let go of that pain. I didn't want to absorb that energy. And this is what Spirit is saying. We have this gift that we can help others with their pain, with releasing, with healing. It's a gift that I have and it's hard on me. It's probably why Spirit said I had to take the day off yesterday. I'm taking the morning off too because it's very hard for me energetically. But this is my gift. So Spirit is saying for you, you have this ability. And you wonder... Is there any point in me being here? I, I don't have, you know, I'm, I'm not great a great sports person. I'm not a wonderful businessman. I don't run a big company. And you wonder if you're doing a good job helping others. And when you struggle in your own life, you think, how can I help others when I'm struggling? Because I am struggling in my life very much. But I know that I can do this to help someone else in their struggle. So the universe wants you to know you're here for a reason. You have your gifts for a reason. And even if you're going through your own internal struggles, use that and recognize that there are others that are going through this as well. And this is a mirror for you. You can help others and it also helps you. I got from Spirit a little while ago. You're going to be helping someone. You're going to feel drawn into a situation where there's someone who is suffering from anxiety or depression. It may be a pet, it may be a person, but through your love, you're healing an aspect of yourself that needs to be healed while you're healing them. Well, you always want to go ahead and think it's about something, you know, that you're maybe you're thinking of. But for me, we always have to remember it's what's happening right now in front of us. So this, this was both. My Uncle Phil was struggling from anxiety and depression. And Maggie was also struggling. And this is the pet and the person. And I worked with them and I helped them. And it was painful for all of us. But you come together that way. And that's how we heal parts of ourselves that are hurting. Because when I release these tears, 
This is helping me heal a part of myself that is yet to heal from someone that I lost, that I didn't want to let go of, that I had to cut the cord, remember, with Freya. The cord needed to be cut. I didn't want to let go. And it's really hard to let go. But it's, and even though it hurts so much, and it feels like your heart's never going to heal again, and you're breaking in a million pieces, these tears are very, very healing. They release so many heavy toxins from your body. I told you, I was carrying water weight, emotional weight. And all of these tears help release that. It needs to happen. So the universe tells you that we believe in you. You're capable, even though you don't realize it. You have a light within you. You're an angel. And you're helping others. And one of your gifts that you have is a gift like mine. It's an invisible gift. You can't see what I do. You can't see the Reiki that I send. But for the timing and, and, and how it was shown, I knew exactly when it was going on. And it lined up. So the energy that I was working with, I felt the swooshing through my body. That was her leaving this, this earth plane. I deal with, with death. I deal with, I'm a medium. I feel them crossing over. And it was a beautiful, I told Uncle Phil, she wasn't in any pain. It was a beautiful crossing. It felt just like this light, swooshing energy moving through her body. And she went into, into across the Rainbow Bridge. And it's so hard for him. And I said, it's hard for me too. I'm hurting too. Because I pick up his feelings. And I pick up her feelings. And she didn't want to leave him any more than he wanted her to go. But it's a cycle. And we have to let go. So this invisible influence that we have, it's very, very powerful. It helps guide others without breaking the spirit within them. It helps them. We don't have to tell others what to do or how to be. We can just be someone that's holding that space for them or a vision of them in your heart. I see you being strong. I see you allowing this to happen. I know it's hard and I'm with you and I love you. But your influence is very powerful in the lives of the one in the lives of the ones who you are connected to, who you choose to connect to. And even if you aren't able to say anything, you can physically, energetically, emotionally, spiritually affect them just by your loving words and the thoughts and feelings that you send out and the Reiki energy that you send. I'm a Reiki master. It's very, very powerful energy. I do long distance Reiki healing. And I gotta tell you, it works. You may not, they may not know why a sense of calm. Uncle Phil didn't, probably didn't have any intention of letting her go alone. And he doesn't know how, why he fell asleep right then. But there was Reiki energy that was being sent to ask him to fall asleep. Because it would have been, it was the easiest way for her to transition. She was able to let go when he was sleeping. I said, Maggie, let him go. And you go while he falls asleep. And then she did. I know for a fact that spirit worked for this to happen. It all coordinated together. So another person may not understand why they all of a sudden feel a sense of release. Where they can take a deep breath. All of a sudden you may just feel a deep sigh. And that's, that's the letting go. You are assisting. Your presence is very powerful. And your invisible influence may be able to influence your family or your friends or your loved ones. Even your co-workers. Even your clients. I work with my clients all the time. I've had people write in, call in, and tell me what they're going through. And I've said, please give them something. They need something right now. I know you hear me. One of the messages last night, I was working with Stephanie... And I asked the father, she needs something right now. She's struggling. And I know she's asking for your help. But wherever two or more are gathered, it's stronger. And I'm asking to bring her a miracle. She needs divine intervention right now. And for my other clients, I do this a lot. They don't know that I'm doing it. But I know that I can affect change. I've done it for years. I believe in my gifts. I'm very, very powerful. And my gifts are powerful because of my belief and trust in them and my faith that I'm helping. So we are able to do this, help people 
a large amount of people the truth that's within us that knows everyone deserves this love everyone deserves this help everyone deserves to feel safe and live their lives in truth and freedom Freya needed to be released remember I said don't string someone along let them go if you know something if you have information we got that message yesterday Actually, you guys didn't. I got it in a private reading, but it's coming to me. If you get information, and you may get it from a strange way like I do, but if you have this information, and it's someone's hurting, and you need to speak up, yes, there will probably be difficulty. There will be an uproar, but you will be blessed for your courage in speaking up. There will be a positive outcome for everyone involved, but please understand that none of this will happen if you don't have the courage to speak up. I've had to do this before with my twin. I've had to give him information that he didn't want to hear. And I knew it would cause a block between us. Because I told him it was a, a brother that did something. And he didn't want to hear it. And I told him and it did cause a different... It caused a break. But I would rather be not your friend anymore. But you're safe. Than allow something to happen to you. Sometimes we have to... We have to do something, and it's the right thing. We stand in our integrity, and we have to do it, even where it may feel like there's a, a loss for ourselves. And it may be a while until anyone even sees what you've done. But you will stand in your truth and your integrity, and you will be blessed for it. So, there's a truth in your heart. And you would have to adhere to this truth. Tame the fearful, resistant thoughts within you and the ones that come from other people. Maybe you're afraid to share your gifts. Maybe you're afraid to speak up because you're going to be thought of as strange or weird like that white crane that was in the backyard hiding amongst the trees. Don't hide your gifts. Don't hide your abilities. Speak your truth. Do what you can. And at the very least, use your invisible influence to help others, whether they be animals or humans, I called on spirit and asked for Freya to be released from that hook and lure that was dragging behind her and hurting her and stopping her. She wouldn't have been able to eat. She, wouldn't have been, she wasn't able to move. And spirit lined it up and it happened. We are able to influence things for the positive. This isn't using our gifts to manipulate. This isn't using our gifts. A lot of people do that. A lot of people are connected energetically and they manipulate and it's not okay. And you will face your karma. And it will come in the most awful of ways. But we can affect change in the positive. So to help us use this the best way that we can, you can do something. You might think it's silly. But get down on all fours. We've done this before. I'll do it with you. Down dog. <laughs> Cat pose. Okay, I'm on the floor. And you're down on all fours right now. And pretend like you're a tiger. And stretch out like a big cat. Now, in yoga, you go down. I wonder if I can show you how to do this. This is going to be silly. You see my body position. If you sit up like this, this is called tabletop. Your back is like a table. Okay? Lean down on your knees and you're stretching. Now, you can go up even higher. Down dog is like this. But cat pose is where you lift your back. Stretching, right? Now lean down this way. Okay, i got to do it. I don't know if you guys were able to see that, if that was too close. But stretch out. Tiger said you need to stretch beyond what might feel comfortable to you. Okay? <sighs> stretch. Growl if you want. Get your, get your claws at the ground and, and claw. Get yourself into this feeling. Bow your head. Raise your hands. Go like this with your fingers. You're going to be the full-on tiger. And say, within me is an angel of power and peace. Within me is an angel of power and peace. Now you can sit. I'm going to sit. Sit in lotus position. Okay? Okay. Bow your head gently towards your hands. 
It's like this. Bow your head gently towards your hands. I'm sitting back straight. Now lift your, lift your hands. I wish I could do this until they're touching your forehead. Okay? Both hands together like prayer position though. And say aloud again, within me is an angel of power and peace. Now stand. Stand up. Put your feet firmly. I got my slippers on. Firmly grounded. We're very grounded. Pull your feet into the ground. Roots pulling you down into the ground. And say aloud, I am a tiger angel, wild and divine. I protect and I am protected. I love and I am loved. I guide and I am guided through unconditional love, now and always. Bow your head like the happy Buddha. Amen. Now, when you do things like that, visualization tools like that are very, very powerful. Okay? Very, very powerful. You're imagining yourself with the grace of the tiger. Here's your tiger. Here you are. Visualize it. It's physically there in front of you. You have the ability. I am a tiger. I am a tiger. I've got the eye of the tiger. I'm a fighter. I'm dancing through the fire because I am a champion. And you're going to hear me roar louder, louder than a lion. This is the energy that we want. Tiger totem. My friend Richie just said something. I think it might mean something for us. Hold on. <sighs> My friend Richie. Hi, soul family. I'm a little bit... Okay, what does he say? Oh, he needs a... He needs Early? A... Oh, he thinks I'm live. I'll give him a message. Okay, hold on. Let me just tell him. That's my friend Richie. He's important to me. He's gone through a real struggle. He's overcome all kinds of things. He's overcome addiction issues. He's overcome so many different things. I'm a little bit early. Hold on. I just want to tell him. Hey, Richie. This was yesterday. But... I'll ask for a message for you. I'm doing today's reading right now. Give me a few minutes. Sorry, but he needs me right now. Okay, correct for neutrality on all levels. We're, that's it with the Divine Oracle. Wow, that was very emotional reading for me. Uh, Saints and angels, let me just see if there's a message on uh, as far as song. I'm ready for whatever it takes. I'll do what it takes. Okay, interesting that I'm wearing my <laughs> animal print, right? Okay, correct for neutrality on all levels. Saints and angels, what is the most important message? <sighs> wow. I need a break. I've told Spirit I need a long vacation. <laughs> I really do. This is energetically, this is draining me. It's very, very, very. This is my gift, but wow, we really have to have balance. You know, we really have to make, make sure that we're taking care of ourselves and. I've been doing this for a really, really long time without a break, and uh, I could really use a good couple of months. I really could. Oh, wow. Spirit knows what I need, though. They'll take care of it. Protect neutrality on all levels. All right. Generosity. I love that. St. Nicholas of Myra. Now, you see this one in the forest. I love him. I love him. He looks like my Uncle Phil. That's what my Uncle Phil looks like. And he is probably one of the most generous people I've ever met in my life. Most loving. This is the one who just lost his Maggie. Actually, he didn't lose Maggie. Maggie's with him. She's going to show up within the next three weeks. I was already shown. She's going to come and play with him. Our animals stay with us. They have the ability. They're in spirit. He can. She can play with Linda, his, his wife. 
and she can play with Uncle Phil. She's in spirit. So don't ever think, you know, you wonder why your other cats start staring at something or they run after something or they chase something. Cats are able to see spirit. They're very amazing that way. So here's my Uncle Phil praying. And his, hand, his prayer has been heard. So Spirit says, and you know what? My Uncle Phil is, is, like I said, one of the most generous, loving, giving people ever. And that's why he deserves all the help and, 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 and effort. And, and everyone loves him. Everyone that knows him loves him. My mama, Sherry, that's her little brother. And man, I said, I love him. He's amazing. And she said, he's very grounding. And when you, you hear them talk about each other, she loves him so much. Everyone his, his nephew, Troy, that's his favorite uncle. Everyone loves Uncle Phil. And when you are someone like this, the universe wants to give back because you give. So Spirit says, you're asked at this point to be this way. Start or continue giving your time, your assistance, even your money, your gifts, your goals, your whatever it is that you have, your goods. When you do that, you realize how much you actually have I don't have a lot of money, but I have abilities. I have gifts. And when I am able to help somebody like that, that shows me what I have. So for you, this is to show you. When you're in a place where you think you can't affect change, absolutely you can. You look at what you've got. Maybe you're just a very, God, I shouldn't even say it that way. Let's redo that. You are a loving person. You're a kind person. You're a, you're a person who is there to, to, to lend an ear. You give great hugs. You're understanding. You're a sounding board. You're grounding. It doesn't matter what energy I'm in. Uncle Phil is always there for me in a way that my feet are on the ground. I feel at peace in his energy. Do you know someone like that? That you just feel at peace within their energy? You feel the love coming from them? That's amazing. That's an angel walking the earth. The more we give, the more we receive. And when we do it from a place of love and freedom, not when it's being expected or required, like Freya when she was on a string, you know, allow love to come to you. Allow someone to give to you. Allow yourself to receive. It's giving in both ways. You need to bring, and it needs to come from a place of love, not obligation. When you give because you're being ob uh, uh, demanded of, expected of, forced to. It's actually a sin because you're doing it in a manner of resentment. But when it comes, love is something that is given, not taken. And you watch when you do this, how the universe gives back to you. I've had so much given to me. I've had beautiful paintings sent to me. I've had people send me my friend Joy tried to send me an oracle deck. It didn't get through to me, but she tried. I've had other people, two other people send me oracle decks. I've had people send me beautiful crystals, right? I've had people do many beautiful things for me. My landlord does things for me all the time. That's spirit's way. That's how karma comes back. Do you understand? It doesn't always come back in who you give it to. It comes back in the way spirit wants it to come. And you don't give in order to get. Generosity comes from your heart, from love. I don't, I don't know about about saints. I don't know if this is a Catholic thing. I don't, I don't know Saint Nicholas. You think about him as Santa Claus, though, right? Saint Nicholas. That's what I think about. But there's a story of of, of this Saint Nicholas. That's where they, they, they he. he that's who they the model Santa Claus after. A patron saint. He was a, one, a, a saint of needy children and, and, and families. One of family, I mean of children and of needy families, needy people. The story, there was a story that described him rescuing three young girls and their father was about to send them into prostitution in order to bring money into the family. And he threw three bags of gold through their window so that their future would be secure. He helped them reform. He helped their lives be reformed. He also helped reform thieves and assisted ones who were wrongfully imprisoned, like Freya. 
Freya also represents someone else. If you've been charged with something that wasn't your doing, this is a sign that you're going to be released from that. If something has been wrongfully done to you, karma is seen, it set straight. So call upon spirit to help with ones who have, as I showed you, that priest in the in the movies, the preacher in this show that I'm watching, he belonged to a gang and he, he got shot in the gang and he said, if I recover, I will spend my life doing good work. And he did. So this is about forgiveness of ones who have come from a, a nefarious lifestyle. This is about, as I said, assisting the ones who, who went to prison in wrongly. I watched it last night in the same show. This man who came into town, he was a he was a tinker who and, and he was accused of stealing something and he was wrongfully imprisoned. He allowed it to happen. He allowed it to happen because there was a lesson that needed to be learned by the person on, on the outside. And then he was it was set right. The person came forward and told their truth. And the person who was held back in this jail was freed. Now this could be, as you say, remember I said there's a secret involving two people that you love and you're stuck in the middle but somebody needs to know the truth and it's going to cause an upset but when it does there's a blessing for all involved one needs to tell the truth they hid the truth and because of that somebody was held in a prison either their mental prison or it actually held back from something but when the truth is exposed even though the one who did the wrong had to admit what they had done they had the chance of being forgiven and they learned a lesson and one was set free. It, it had everything to do with this one believing that spirit would take care of it. This one that was represented like this Santa Claus figure. And they said, why didn't you say anything? Why did you allow yourself to be looked at this way? And he said, because that one needed to learn the lesson. They needed to know. They needed to experience that. I knew it would be taken care of. This is faith. There's so much in this message, so much in, in what I'm being shown. So call upon spirit to help you with whatever work, volunteer work, whatever it is that you can give to help others. What's the best way that I can give? What, 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 how could I donate? I ask for donations for this page to help me keep doing all of the work that I do. There's others that do the same work as me. There are ones every single time I go to get pet food or a fish filter or... Um, supplies for my animals, I donate to the animals every single time. When I go to Petco, when I go to PetSmart, they always ask, would you like to make a donation? Absolutely. Whenever I go to the grocery store, would you like to make it? You know, it's not a lot. It's a dollar or two dollars. Would you like to make a donation towards this? I do that. That's my way of giving. I don't have a lot to give, but I do it every single time. So what is dear to you? To me, the animals are dear to me. They're my messengers. So I donate to help them because they help me. And they need help. So maybe it's about a few minutes of your time signing a petition to stop the bears from being hunted. To stop the wolves from being hunted. To stop our fucking asshole president from lifting that ban on bringing trophy animal heads into our country. The tusks of elephants. For years they were on ban and now he's lifted that. So we want to fight that. How long does it take you to sign a petition? Seconds? Do your part. The spirit will see that you are given the thanks. You may have an animal come to your rescue when you rescue it. Have you ever heard that story? There's a story of somebody that was given money to go get someone. Uh, to, they, were, they were going to go get their bride or, or whoever. They were off on their way to do that. And along the way, they fell, came across these three animals that were in, in need. They could represent people, right? A rat that was sinking. They helped. He helped the rat. Another that was drowning he helped that one. He helped three different animals along the way. One was just a bug. Nobody would have looked at them. They would have not thought much of them. But he helped them. And by the time he was done, all of his money was gone. And then he got into a position where he was in a danger. He was drowning. I don't know what it was. It was horrible. There were, and all, along came these three insignificant animals that no one would have paid attention to. And every one of them saved him. It was the generosity of coming back. It was full circle. It was payback. It was karma. It was good. I have been watching these three ducks fly in the sky. They're those three cormorants. 
flying. I don't know if you guys can see it. And then there's three doves flying. I've watched this whole time I've been talking. They're far enough away that you, you can't see, but I can. Three doves, three cormorants, three ducks. Ducks talk about community. And this is what we've been talking about. Soul family, community effort, working together as part of a team. The cormorants are the ones who go, people put rings on their necks, the fishermen. And when they dive down, they're fishing birds. They go down and, and they have to, they, they, uh, they put the rings around their necks so they're not able to keep the, the fish. So they're used by others to, to fish. The cormorant is about going down deep under your emotional waters and being able to come back up, but not allowing others to make you work for them when you get nothing back. Being held captive, like Freya. The three doves are talking about soulmate connections, prophecy, pausing, taking a breath, gentleness, relaxing, peaceful, loving energy, forgiveness. All three of these kept going around and around outside. Full circle completion. I'm going to let you guys go. Have a beautiful day.